Hi everyone, Deborah here, and I'm going to walk you through how to use themes and styles in a multi-page document in Word 365. Okay, on my screen I have the first page of a business report, and this is what we call a cover page, okay? And then after that, there's a blank page I put in just for the table of contents that I'm going to create later on. After the blank page comes the main body of the report. And as you can see, there's nothing, there's no formatting here. It's all just very plain text. There's a main title, there's um, a subheading or a heading that can head up a couple of paragraphs that are going to talk about a particular thing, and then there's another heading for the next section, and so on. Now, as I go back up to the cover page, this is where my flashing insertion point is right there. Okay, it doesn't really matter where it is on the page as long as it's there. And so the first thing that you want to do is go to the Design tab, which is right up here. So click Design, and what you see then is a very large gallery of different style sets. Okay, different style sets. Now, style sets are great, but you don't want to use them first. The first thing you want to do always when you're doing this is to go way over here on the far left hand side where it says themes and click themes and then you have all these really cool themes, design themes that you can pick from and as I hover over each one notice that my cover page changes. Here let me um, scroll so you can see the color, uh, the color part of it too. So I'm going to go back and click themes and I'm going to hover my mouse over different ones, different design themes and as you can see then how it's going to affect it's like a preview of what it's going to do to my document how it's going to affect the design of it all right so once you choose a theme then the style sets then will change because they become affected by the theme that you chose. The theme is sort of an overall umbrella kind of uh, design that affects everything in the report and whichever style set you choose can then be uh, decided. So now I'm going to scroll down into the main body. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit and I want you to see how it affects, how different style sets can affect what you see on the document. So I'm going to hover my mouse by pointer over different style sets and then you can see some very some of them are very slight differences and some of them are more um, dynamic and if you click the more button here you get a few more style sets you can choose from. So once you pick a style set I'm just going to choose one then what you would do is you would go back to the home tab and in the styles area if when you click more you'll notice that the style set that you chose the theme and the style set that you chose have affected the way these headings look for example let me get out of it let me click away so for example for the main title okay I'm gonna click uh, actually you don't have to select the whole thing you can just place your mouse anywhere in the main title and click so when you do that you go into the styles over here this the singular ones and you pick out the style you're gonna use now this is the title the main title style so I'm gonna pick that then for the heading I'm gonna click into the heading one line and I'm going to choose heading, heading one. Then I'm going to go down here and choose again, click into heading two and click the same thing, heading one. Find heading three, keep going. I'm going to apply this heading to all of my headings. Okay, now that I have applied the design theme and the style set that I want, I went through and I chose the individual styles that I wanted to place into the text itself. I chose the main title here, and then I used heading one for my paragraph headings. That's important. If you're going to have a table of contents, it's very important that you place heading styles into the 
uh, subtitles of the sections or areas of the report. That's how the table of contents can be created automatically. I'm going to show you how to do that in another video. Another thing you can do is start out with a style set and customize it. Let's say that I like this, but the main title I don't like the main title here. It's kind of too big. I don't like the size. I don't like the way it looks. So um, I'm going to make some changes to it. So I'm just going to select that. I'm going to make it smaller. I'm going to select a different main title. Make it a little bit smaller than that. Okay, click away. And I also want to center it. So I'm going to put it in the center. Okay, and let's say that I also want to uh, change the headings a little bit, the uh, paragraph headings. So I'm going to cho uh, choose that and maybe choose a different color. So once I make these changes, now what I want to do, I want to be able to use this custom design again in the future the next time I do this type of document. So I'm going to save this as my style, my own style. So I'm going to click Create a Style. I'm going to give it a name. I'm just going to call it Deborah's Style. And notice that my new custom style is actually added to the Styles Gallery up here. So I can just click Deborah's Style anytime I want to use it. And those are just the basics of using themes and styles.